FreePick is a global technology company and the largest platform for audiovisual tools and resources worldwide. Now it's here in San Francisco with the Neighborhood Design Project. Here to tell us more is visual designer and marketing manager, Paola Vivas. Paola, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for inviting me here. Yes, we are so excited to talk about FreePick mm -hmm. and this Neighborhood Project coming here to San Francisco. Amazing. Yes, very exciting. But for our viewers who have maybe never heard of FreePick, Paola, give us an overall view of what exactly that is. Awesome. So we've been around for around 12 years. Uh, we started um, as a resource tool, as a marketplace for every designer to go in and download images, icons, vectors, and as of the time has evolving, we've been integrating AI tools. Mm -hmm. So now every designer or every person that wants to design something can go in and look for images and design them. Amazing. So it sounds like you guys have made some adjustments. Yes. In terms of technology with yeah. AI. AI is super helpful. Yeah. So many companies are adapting this new AI tool. What makes maybe your way with AI a little bit more unique compared to other ways people use AI? That is accessible. Uh, like yes. every time we do a conference, every time we talk to our users, they say, well, this is not intimidating. Like we have tools like sketch to image, text to image, that you don't have to know all the way the prompt. You don't have to know how to draw. You can just sketch an image and it will bring a beautiful image for you to use. So mm -hmm. that's what makes us like, I think different for everyone. I love that too, because Thank sometimes you. artificial intelligence can be a little bit scary for right? people, right? Yeah. We don't always know how to use it. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a mind of its own sometimes. <laughs> yeah. But this is an amazing tool. Why did FreePick find it necessary to add artificial intelligence to some of the programs that you use? I think the way that we see it is like, you either evolve or you stay behind, right? We don't want to be a dinosaur. We want to be part of the system. We want to be part of the future. So integrating AI was natural and the natural way to do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love that. You're like, we don't want to be dinosaurs. We want to keep evolving <laughs> yeah. with the times, right? That's what we're going to do. <laughs> and technology moves so fast, so mm -hmm. you really do have to adapt pretty quickly yeah. when it comes to technology. But now you guys are here in San Francisco bringing right. the Neighborhood Project yeah. to the Excelsior District. Tell me all about this Neighborhood Project and what it really entails. Yeah, so we came here, uh, we started in the U.S. Uh, last September. And we revitalized one of the buildings. We were painting our office on the outside and we saw people walking by. It's in Harrison and Fifth. And we saw people walking by saying, wow, you've done so much. Like just painting the building blue. They were like, I'm happy now going to work. And we, yeah. that made us start thinking like, okay, we should do something with the community. We should start something like that. Um, so we started in Malaga in Spain with this uh, neighborhood design uh, campaign. And we loved it. We loved how the designers that uh, got in contact with us could create that image. We, they could revitalize all the businesses mm -hmm. and they are doing much better. So now we were thinking, okay, let's do it in San Francisco. They find a neighborhood that really needs it. Uh, we picked the Excelsior district and we're working on that right now. And why Excelsior District specifically? What what maybe what did it what requirements I should say did it meet in terms of why you chose Excelsior District? I think diversity. Diversity is such a like we're from Spain, right? So we we look for diversity. We look for uh, work in um, neighborhood uh, businesses that really need help. So uh, that's the best way to do it. I love that too. Yeah. And you know, San Francisco as a whole is pretty diverse, you know, so it's yes. so nice that you kind of narrowed it down to one specific district yeah. within uh, the neighborhoods of San Francisco. So what can people expect from this neighborhood project? Uh, from this project, I think the best that they can go is like to see, to go and see the businesses, to go and have a coffee at the Excelsior coffee shop, like uh, go to the Salvadorian restaurant, the Restaurante Familiar that mm -hmm. we love so much, Jorge and um, Flor. Um, go there and have fun with them. That's that, See the difference between the before and after and see how they do it now. I think this is the best way to, yeah. to take it. And what are some of the success stories you've heard? Because I know you mentioned you did it in Spain. You mm -hmm. got a lot of positive feedback from the neighborhood. Yeah. So what are some of these success stories that they've said about these projects? I think when it's like a small business, when it's a family, business, a family business, the most success that we can have is the grateful, the, the, their, their eyes popping saying, I could have done, I couldn't have done this without you. Yeah. So I, it's not like we're savers on anything, but it's like something like we feel design can do a lot. Design in your lifestyle, design in your city, design in your community, like everything, being creative is part of this. So 
that's all we creative. That's oh, what man. I can say. That's so beautiful, though. And it's <laughs> true. You're yeah. like, hey, we're not saviors or anything, but we're here kind of making a difference. Right? Yeah. And that's big. You know, even the small differences can brighten up somebody's day. So how can people get involved with Free Pick or find out more information? Oh, they can go to our website, freepick.com, um, and they can look at uh, look for us in social media at Free Pick. And we'll be there waiting for all the feedback that you can get. Yay, wonderful. Well, we are looking forward to seeing all the amazing things that you're going to do in the Excelsior yeah. District. So thank you so much, Paola. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. Of course.